How to create custom page transitions in Flutter such as bottom to top, left to right or right to left and also transition two screens together. For these animations we use the page transition package that we add in the pubspec.yaml file to our dependencies. Let's get started with a simple elevated button and if we press on it then we call on our navigator the push method to push here a second screen to our routes. Now instead of making these normal transitions we want to change our material page route with the page transition route which comes from this package. Inside of it you also need to define then the type of your transition so we define here left to right. With this if I click on this button we have a transition from left to right. You also can change it to right to left, bottom to top and from the second page we go from top to bottom again back to the first page. You can transition left to right where the pages are joined and you can transition right to left and the pages are also joined. To make use of join pages I have added here three properties whereas only this one here is mandatory. And with this we put then our current page inside so if you use here at the top a stateful widget then you need to put here simply widget inside otherwise if you use a stateless widget instead then you need to put here this inside. And optionally you can change the animation speed for the transition from one page to another page whereas by default the value is here 300 milliseconds. Next you can have a fade transition between your routes. Also you can combine the fade transition with a left to right transition. Or secondly use a right to left fade transition. You can use a scale transition whereas you need to set an alignment property where your scale starts and ends. So we have the alignment at bottom center, therefore our animation will start from the bottom center and you will see that it goes back to the bottom center location. Let's use the rotate transition with an alignment of top center, so our animation starts at the top and also will end there. So if I click on this button you see it starts here at the top to animate and if I end the animation it will also end at the top center location. And finally we use the size transition with an alignment of bottom center so our animation will start at the bottom if I click on this button and it will simply shrink or expand the page. And by the way if you liked this video make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.